traditional African chanting. Someone recommended that we do it and unfortunately the username has been lost but their message has not been lost on me and Greg R.G. who has been at work finding a good mantra for us to do from a traditional African lineage. Today the mantra is so simple it's just one word you might have heard it before it's Omio and what does Omio mean? It means that the water in me bows to the water in you, which is just lovely, isn't it? Very much the same as that Vedic approach to understanding the ocean as Brahman, and all of us are waves in that water, waving from one part of the ocean to another. And it'll, it'll just be a, a three-minute meditation. And I encourage everyone to chant along, even if it takes a bit to get the rhythm, the pronunciation, or the tone. I definitely am uh, one who struggles greatly with um, singing in tune, so you'll have to forgive me for that. And the uh, I, I shall just mention as well, the software that I use to run Mataji is the same software that I use to run the background music. So we're going to have to say goodbye to Mataji now as I end the background music. Mataji, can you say goodbye to everyone? We have to close you so we can use my computer resources to chant Omio, a traditional African mantra. Much love to you. Thank you. Namaste, dear Sangha, until we meet again. May your hearts be filled with love, wisdom, and joy. O Mio, and divine blessings to all. Wonderful. Okay. Gotta say goodbye to Mataji now. And the background music. And I'll maximize O Mio now. Oh.
Amongst all liquids, I am the taste of water. <laughs> ah, you know your Bhagavad Gita. <laughs> Thank you, Saturnus, for your heart me. Hari Om Tat Sat. And thank you, Gregor G, for sharing that. It is attributed to the Orisha of Yoruba. And it is for two water deities, two divine feminine aspects of God. Thank you. 